Welcome to the Pro Tools 8 Kit, the complete professional workflow for music production. Brought to you by Focal Press and Pro Tools 101 authors Chris Basile and Rob Shimansky. In this module, Edwin, we will take a detailed look at how you can use Pro Tools 8 LE to edit your MIDI and audio data using the Apple OS X Leopard operating system. Editing is the process of making final changes to your work. Here you take the recorded audio and MIDI data and perform further cleanup such as inserting silence, fading, or quantizing your work. Preparing your session is simple. Just make sure that you do not apply any destructive edits that are not backed up and you can pretty much do anything you want. When using your DAW for editing, remember, get comfortable. You will likely be using a mouse and keyboard and a control surface to make detailed changes to your work. Here you get to clean up the final recorded product, the imported track, or composition you just scored. Knowing how to navigate and use the edit window is important when editing. You will also need to know how to use the regions list and also how to use the main ruler. The edit window is where the audio or MIDI material recorded or imported within your session can be viewed and or manipulated. Tracks are displayed horizontally in this window and controls can be displayed or hidden when desired. With Pro Tools 8 LE, there are many different new features and tools to add to the already deep tool set since Pro Tools 7.4.2. Old favorites like adjusting track height are still available and with Pro Tools waveform now made of higher bit density, you can get a more accurate view of your audio waveform. Pro Tools 8 LE allows you to quickly move through your session with the universe view. This view used to come as a separate window but now is integrated into the top of the project section of the edit window. Here, you can quickly see all tracks as they sit in the edit window re regardless if they are inactive to help you quickly see and navigate an entire session without having to use the scroll bars within the edit window. Working with regions is also important. You will need to know how to work with the data in the regions list as well as within the edit window. Using the main time base ruler is made easier and there are more options to choose from. Below the universe view, there is a time base where you can adjust the view to display minutes and seconds, bars and beats, and samples, tempo, meter, chords, and keys. There is also a place where you can insert markers or memory locations. There are multiple editing modes, such as spot, slip, shuffle, and grid, that allow you to move and adjust region data on the timeline. There are also many editing tools to choose from when cleaning up your recorded work. Pro Tools has several edit tools that can be found at the top of the edit window. The edit tools include Zoomer, Trim, Selector, Grabber, Scrubber, Pencil, and Smart Tool. The Zoom tool is used to zoom in and out of track material. The Trim tool is used to trim regions. The Selector tool is used to make selections on tracks and regions. The Grab tool is used to select, separate, or move regions within the tracks. The Scrubber tool is used to audition track material. The Smart tool is a combination tool that is used to trim, select, grab, or fade regions. The Smart tool will change depending on the location of the cursor in the edit window. Each tool available provides a wealth of opportunities. Zooming is extremely helpful when editing. It will allow you to get up close to see the finer details. Trimming is useful when you want to remove unwanted material from your recorded audio regions. Pro Tools provides several ways to trim audio regions, which are the Trim Tool, the Smart Tool, and the Trim Region commands within the Edit drop-down menu. The type of grid mode that is enabled affects the way regions can be trimmed. You can change the different grid views at the top of the edit window. Next, you should know how to operate the grabber tool, which is located to the right of the selector tool. You can use the grab tool primarily 
to move region data between tracks, from the regions list, and so on. You can also use other tools to move track data. Audio regions may be moved within and between tracks by using the grab tool, the smart tool, or by nudging. The format of the main time scale and the type of grid mode selected affect the way regions can be moved or nudged. If there is one thing you will do often in Pro Tools, it's creating fades. Whether working with band recordings, producing radio show, or podcast, it's likely you will include at least one fade. In some projects you will encounter, such as when creating a radio show, you may inject 200 or more fades into your project. So it's imperative that you know how to perform this function effectively. When discussing fading, it helps to understand exactly what a fade is. Put simply, a fade is a gradual increase in volume when fading in, and a gradual decrease in volume when fading out. You are attempting to start and end with silence. A crossfade, sometimes called a dissolve, shares the same underlying concept as a fade. The difference is that a crossfade doesn't drop in silence. Instead, it meets in the middle where it becomes less audible as the incoming sound becomes more distinct. Crossfading allows two audio regions to blend together smoothly. Fading and crossfading may also be used to prevent pops and or clicks at the end of regions that may be audible in the recording. Fades can be customized depending on the application they are used for. Fades can be created at the beginning or end of regions, and crossfades are created when fading between two audio regions. Both fades and crossfades can be adjusted for duration, shape, and placement. There are three main types of crossfades. They are the standard centered crossfade, a pre-crossfade, and a post-crossfade. The type of crossfade is determined by the way a selection is made in the Pro Tools edit window. In a centered crossfade, a crossfade is created on both sides of the splice point and is the most common type of crossfade. Pro Tools 8 LE software introduces a plethora of new features and enhancements that deliver significantly expanded editing capabilities, making them more flexible and providing the audio engineer producer with a new creative tool set. Although strip silence is not new to Pro Tools 8 LE, the newest version brings new features to the editing table. By using strip silence, you can quickly analyze and remove unwanted noise from your selections. In some instances, you may want to edit your work so that when the musical selection starts and stops, it starts and stops from silence. Beat Detective is used to separate audio regions according to peak transients and quantize them according to the edit grid you have selected, thus improving and cleaning up not only the region, but also the performance and the recorded work. Audio may also be quantized to a different tempo, which is the rate of speed in which something is played, and tempo may be extracted from the audio by using Beat Detective. In addition, the Edit Smoothing feature of Beat Detective can be used to fade the ends of multiple regions. The way Beat Detective works is by analyzing an audio or MIDI track's rhythm pattern based on the bars, beats settings you have configured. Once you open it up for use, you will find many tools within the Beat Detective to help you further edit your work based on beat triggers. A beat trigger is what Beat Detective processes from peak transients in your recorded work. This is when you analyze a selection. It is processed so that these transients can be located and marked. Once this set is completed, you can then further quantize, edit, smooth, and process your work.